So let's say you have an array with 100 items and you only want to show five items at a time. This is a really simple method and I just want to say that there's many other ways you can do this. This is just one simple way to do it. So to get started on this, I'm just going to create an array. So we'll come in here to right, and I'll just call this new array and it's going to be an integer and I'll just go compile and then over here I'll set it to an array. And then I'm going to create two variables. I've done this before, so I'm competing with some other names I've created. So I'm going to, this is going to be an integer again, but this is not going to be an array. So this is a single value. We need two counters. So I'm going to click on this one and go F2 and call this, let's call this front counter. I'll hit control D and I'm going to call this back counter. And you can call these whatever you want. Okay. And we do want this to be viewable. So I'll go compile and save, and I'll make this instance editable too. Okay, so on the array, let's go ahead and put some values in here so we can test this. And I'm just gonna put in, let's say, 15 numbers. So I'll just put however many array elements that is. One more, 15, okay. So I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, and last one is 15. And I'll just compile and save that. Okay, so I'm just going to drive this off of the keyboard press. So I'm just going to right click and go keyboard one here. And then what I'm going to do is we need to increment through these, the front and the back counter. So I'm going to get this, I'm going to get it, and then I'm going to set it. I'm going to need to set it. I'll put that up here. And the same for the back counter. I need to get it. And then I'm going to need to set it. And then we're going to both increment these by however much you want it to be. So if you want to go through five elements, four elements at a time, it just depends. I'm going to say I'm going to go through this five elements at a time. So I'm going to go add. And we'll get this right here. And it's going to be five elements at a time, right? So five there. And then I'm just going to hit control D and duplicate that and go like that. Okay. So this is going to be our counters and then we need to get a loop. So I'm going to search for for loop. Now this is not a for each loop. This is a for loop, right? So we're going to get this right here and we're just going to put this exec pin in here, this exec pin in here, and this goes in here. And then this is cool because we can set our index values each time it's pressed, our index values for the array can change appropriately. So let me just, so let's see here. So this is actually gonna go into the back counter here is gonna go into the last index and the front is gonna go into the first like that. And then this pin will go in here and this pin will go in there like that. Now the other thing is that because these are going to get incremented right away, I need to select on the front counter here and I'm going to set this to negative five. So when it gets incremented by five, it'll start at zero. And then this one I'm going to put to, I think it's going to be, it's going to be negative one. So this one's going to be negative one. So that will match our array values because we need zero and four. So that'll put us where we need to be. And then all we need to do is this part's simple. We're just gonna get the new array, drag it over here and get it. And then we need a new, get a copy of it. So we're gonna go get copy right there like that. And then we're just gonna drag this into here like that. And then all we gotta do is do a, uh, a print string. So I'm just going to right click and go print string and like that. And then this will just go into here and auto convert like that. And then this will just plug into here, like I said, and then that's the whole thing. So it's pretty simple, but like I said, there's different ways you can do this. This is just the way I'm doing it for right now. And I'll go compile and save. And if I come in here to my third person template, and I hit play, 
and I click one, you'll see there's one, two, three, four, five. I click it again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I click it again, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's great, right? So the power of this, this for loop, is that we can now cycle through an array of items a section at a time. So if we brought in items on an Excel spreadsheet then, let's say, and put them in an array, if we brought in 100 items, then we could cycle through those items five at a time versus one at a time. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.